everybody, this is Nick with Civil War Tours of New Orleans, and today is May 27th, 2020, which means today is the 155th anniversary of the very last battle or skirmish to ever take place in Louisiana, and it happens roughly where I am right now. So I am on the backside of what was historically the Terrio Plantation. Now you'll see it in the official records of the War of the Rebellion spelled the Terrion. Uh, upon further investigation, digging, reading, apparently Terrion was a phonetically way of writing out the last name by the Union officer who wrote the after action report. So he wrote Terrion when it's really the Terrio Plantation. And so we're along Bayou de Large. We're about 12 miles down from Homa, so we're in Terrebonne Parish. And on May 27th, 1865, so Robert E. Lee surrenders on April 9th, 1865. It's May 27th, and there's still Civil War activity taking place in Louisiana. And the very last engagement of the American Civil War in Louisiana takes place somewhere where I am right now. So it's vague. Now this last action that takes place in Louisiana is going to be between United States Cavalry and a little band of guerrilla fighters or were they detached cavalry? We don't quite know. All right, so the commanding officer of this little band of Confederate cavalry, his name was Omar Boudreaux. Omar Boudreau was a member of Company C, 7th Louisiana Cavalry. And sometime in September of 1864, he and a few other men from Company C were on either detached service or maybe they went AWOL. Again, we're not quite certain. But we do know that Boudreau is the leader of a band of basically renegade cavalrymen. So again, are they absent without leave? Are they on furlough? Uh, were they guerrilla fighters? History isn't certain about exactly what their designation is, but Boudreaux and his little band are going to terrorize the Southern Lafouche district and then also Terrebonne Parish from September of 64 until May of 1865. Now, three weeks before this last skirmish that takes place here on the backside of the Terrio plantation, Boudreaux and five of his men capture two United States colored troops. Uh, one of the colored troops, his name was Andrew Jackson. Uh, the second colored troop, we do not know his name. Now, Boudreaux and his men were picking blackberries when the two Union soldiers tried to make their escape. Andrew Jackson, the Union uh, colored troop, he gets shot in the back. Now, he's not killed, he's mortally wounded. Boudreaux comes up, notices that uh, he's still in pain, he's still alive, and Boudreaux just basically executes Andrew Jackson, a United States colored troop. All right. So for this, the United States Cavalry is going to send out a patrol or um, a party, and they're going to look for Boudreaux and his little band of cavalrymen that are patrolling all around the uh, Lafouche and Terrebonne areas. Right. Now, on May 25th, 1865, so two days before the very last skirmish, here along the banks of Bayou de Large, Boudreaux and his men are going to actually go to the home of a couple, and she gets raped. Uh, so Boudreaux and his men, they're raping, they're pillaging, they're murdering. They are not a bunch of good guys. They are, in essence, outlaws. But again, the, it's vague as far as like, were they still legitimate soldiers of the Confederacy or were they now outlaw guerrilla fighters? Again, history doesn't quite tell us what their designation was. So that's on May 25th. All right, so now the United States military, the cavalry, they know that Boudreaux and his five men are somewhere in the Bayou de Large area, south of Homa. And it's on May 27th, 1865, that here, behind the Terrio plantation, Boudreaux and his men are surprised by a little band of United States cavalry. The cavalry pounces, comes, charges down upon Boudreaux's camp. His men don't even have time to get dressed. So they are just taking to the woods. Now, Boudreaux gets uh, wounded. Now, the United States Cavalry, they think that Boudreaux is mortally wounded. And in the after action report, they talk about how uh, Boudreaux, uh, last time we saw him, he was still breathing, but he shouldn't give us any more trouble. So in essence, they thought that Boudreaux was gonna die out here on the backside of the Terrio plantation. Boudreaux survives. And on June 1st, 1865, Omar Boudreaux goes up into Thibodeau and turns himself in. And then this becomes a long court uh, battle. Uh, President Johnson even gets involved on whether or not we should pardon Boudreaux, should we hang him for murder. In the end, Boudreaux gets a life sentence, so he avoids the hangman's noose. Now, there are other Confederate guerrilla bands in Terrebonne Parish in May of 1865, but there's no skirmishing. The Union doesn't ever find them. So it is here 
behind the Terrio Plantation on the banks of Bayou de Large, about 12 miles south of Homa, that 155 years ago today, in this general area, the very last skirmish of the American Civil War takes place in Louisiana. It happens right here. And it also just happens to be on the same day that the a skirmish happens in Missouri. So this skirmish in Missouri and the skirmish here at the Terrio Plantation are also going to be the last skirmishes of the American Civil War. And it happens right here in Terrebonne Parish, along the banks of Bayou de Lange. <laughs>